guys? Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we're unboxing a special box. It is the Star Wars box for the Star Wars celebration. Um, this is done by uh, Nerd Block, and it looks like Disney and stuff too, obviously, since they own Star Wars. So this was the block uh, done for the Star Wars celebration, which happened um, probably almost close to a month ago now. I thought this box would have come at that point, since usually these uh, convention boxes come at the around the time of their convention and stuff like that. But apparently this one took a lot longer or something like that. Um, so, the, of course, it's going to be loaded with Star Wars stuff. So hopefully there's some good things in here. So let's just see what we got. Um, so first up, we have our T-shirt. Um, I can see a bunch of Star Wars characters on it. Um, so it looks like it's a mixture of pretty much all the Star Wars movies. So you have all sorts of stuff. So, of course, Darth Vader, Anakin, Padme, Obi-Wan, Yoda, Chewie, Han, Luke, Leia, Finn, Poe, Rey... Uh, Kylo, Leia maybe? I can't tell. No, that's no, not Leia. The guy, that's the guy. General Hux, Phasma, R2-D2, C-3PO, Tusk, or er, uh, Dubak, whatever, all sorts of stuff on this. Land so, speeder. So that's really cool. I mean, I'm not a fan of this, like, collar. Like, the, it looks like a flesh collar type thing. Not a fan of that. But I really like this picture having, uh, like, characters from, um, the whole set of Star Wars movies and stuff like that. So that's really awesome. I like that a lot. So hopefully it fits in everything like that. Uh, next up we have, looks like a hacky sack. But it's like a weird shape. It's a Darth Vader. But it's like a Pentagon shape or something like that. Because it's got like five sides to it. So I'm not exactly sure what it is. But yeah, it's just a Darth Vader hacky sack. And it's super heavy. Like, I've obviously had hacky sacks in the past and stuff. And they don't feel like this heavy. So I don't know if it's just a stuffed animal. I mean, it could be, not even be a hacky sack. But that's what it looks and feels like. Being that size and stuff. And the little tag doesn't say anything. But I assume uh, they all have stickers. But all these things are Star Wars convention exclusives and stuff like that. So you shouldn't be really able to find these anywhere else. But that's what they say a lot. Um, next up we have a mug. But I can't see what it is. And it's super heavy duty bubble wrap. I'm going to rip this thing open. Okay, so this has just, um, which I haven't mentioned it yet, but of course this is the 40th anniversary of Star Wars. Coming up towards the end of this month, the tw um, 40 years of the release of the movie. So we have Star Wars Celebration Orlando um, 2017. Then we have the Star Wars 40th anniversary logo there. So that's super cool. I mean, again, it's a mug. We don't use mugs that often, but this is at least a super cool mug. Uh, very like collectible and stuff like that with the 40th anniversary thing and stuff. So that'll be awesome to have. Next up we have a oven mitt and it looks like, I, it says Ponda Baba oven. Or I guess it says on this side, <laughs> Ponda Baba. So this is the guy from the cantina that gets his hand cut off by Obi-Wan. So that's uh, cool. And of course he was in Rogue One, you gotta see Empire and stuff. So you have your hand. And it's kind of cool, so on this side, of course, they have, like, the nails and stuff showing you that this is top, and then the bottom's bare, like, an actual hand. So you can um, see which way you're supposed to wear and everything. Stuff, of course, has the Star Wars Celebration and everything. And this is um, kind of a real thick oven mitt, so this will probably actually um, work, unlike some other oven mitts we've got in the past. Thanos! Bye -bye. Um, so that's that, so we got that. That's cool. Next, oh, we got some pins here, and these look awesome. So we got some... Jedi pins, and so we have uh, Mace Windu, Anakin, and Obi-Wan, and these are awesome. So they're just like the normal pins like we get in all sorts of boxes and stuff like that, and they look awesome. I like these character designs a lot. They're really cool the way they are like designed and everything. I, those are awesome. Gonna have to find something to put those on. And then we got a ball, I think, yeah, it's a Death Star beach ball. So let's open it, let's see what it looks like. I doubt I'll be able to blow this up, but we'll just look to see what size it is. Oh, come on. Okay, so it's not ginormous, so I may blow it up. Be right back. Okay, guys, so I got it all blown up now, so... And there it goes. Well, there goes the Death Star, guys. <laughs> Here, bros, get it back for me. Okay, so we have the Death Star back now. Um, so, of course, we have, of course, the disc there that shoots the thing and stuff so just the normal ball look designed like a Death Star and then it does have the 40 or the uh, whatever Star Wars Celebration I think what it was called 
And so this is pretty cool. I mean, it didn't blow up very well because it let. It's one of those that lets air out as you're trying to put the thing in, so it's kind of deflated and stuff like that. But it's pretty cool. So we got to play beach ball. Ow! And then our last item, which was their like thing they uh, um, advertised or whatever for it, is a metal necklace. I don't know what you want to call it. Say it's a metal, but um, you could call it like a necklace type thing and stuff. It's and it's supposed to be. Um, the thing, or the medal that Luke gets at the end of Empire, or Empire Strikes Back, <laughs> I know my Star Wars movies, A New Hope that Leia puts around stuff for saving, um, you know, them from the Death Star and everything. It's supposed to be a, a replicant of that, then it has, yeah, keychains, so you can put your keys and stuff on it. But of course, obviously, if you wore this around, people would probably look at you funny for wearing this giant, uh, gold thing around your neck and stuff like that. But it's pretty cool, though. The band does have the core Star Wars celebration on it, and then so here's just an up close look at the metal. It's hard to see probably with the light and stuff, um, but there's just like some sort of design on it. I don't know what it is, but it's just some design that of course has the 40th anniversary thing on the back of it and stuff. So there's that, and then now we have our card thing here. So let's see what we got here. So of course we have the um, Yavin metal lanyard. So that's what this is. And then we have, so the pin pack, you could have got, looks like, five different options. Um, so there's this one, there's a Sith one with Darth Maul, uh, Palpatine, and Dooku. There's, uh, I assume, like a female one with uh, Ren, or Ren, Rey, Leia, and uh, Sabine from Rebels. Then there's a bounty hunter with Boba Fett, um, IG-88, and Bosk, and then, of course, this one. Oh, and then a Rogue one, which looks like... Um, Jin, uh, Cassian, and I, or whatever the robot, K2SO, whatever, <laughs> whatever the robot's name was. So, um, either, the, any of those would be cool. I mean, the Bounty Hunter would have been really awesome, and the Sith one, but I like this one a lot, too, with those characters. Uh, next up, we have the shirt, which, of course, is, um, Star Wars Conventions 2017, exclusive t-shirt. Then we have the Ponda Baba of Admit, which I'll definitely be using. We have our Death Star Beach Ball, which is flown across the room, 40th Anniversary Celebration Mug, and then the, um, I guess these are beanie characters, so they're not hacky sex like I thought. Um, so these are beanie characters, and it looks like you've got a Stormtrooper, or a, um, whatever they're called, the new ones, the new Stormtroopers, I'm blanking what they are. Um, BB-8, Kylo Ren, Yoda, Chewbacca, or Ar Death sorry, Darth Vader and Boba Fett were the options you could get for that. Um, so that's it for this box. Um, what was your favorite item out of this, bro? Oh, uh, probably the pin set. Yeah, the pin was really cool. Um, I really like the oven mitt. The t-shirt design is cool. I'm not sure about the fit and stuff of it. It kind of looks a little funny, but I'll at least try it and stuff like that. Pins are cool. I like the beach ball. I mean, I'm not going to use it for anything, but I still think it's cool to have a Death Star. I'll probably just blow it up and just sit it somewhere in my room. But I really like the oven mitt a lot because I like oven mitts and having a character one especially from star wars is going to be cool and stuff but i liked a lot this now i will say this box was a lot more expensive than i thought it was like i don't remember the exact price but um the other boxes we've gotten have been about the same price about like forty dollars or something like that which is somewhat about an average price for a decent box in general let alone a special one and when i checked out and like saw the price like, I didn't see any prices until I checked out the last minute, and I saw the receipt that I received in the email. And I saw how much it was, I'm like, holy crap, this box better be worth it. Um, by seeing the items, I would pro probably say it was not worth it. But being a big Star Wars fan and everything, um, I like the items. And with Star Wars, you have, um, like, licensing and stuff like that. So all these items, because of their Star Wars and license and exclusive and all that sort of stuff, is going to be raised probably... Um, a, like multiples of dollars you know for each item more than you would normally pay for something like that um so i guess it probably would add up in the end but it's still really cool love all the star wars stuff and everything but if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more and we'll see you next time ah!